emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again later? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with a video on where to start to get your amateur or ham radio license. I did a video on this before, but now I have new software, so I'm going to try to make one that's a little bit better. Because now I can actually record directly from my desktop. So we're going to start with going to a website, qrz.com, www.qrz.com. And we're going to create an account on qrz.com. I'm going to walk you through this. And we're going to go here and help register on qrz.com. What this is going to do is give you an account where you can take the practice test. Don't have a QRZ account? Click here. And I'm not going to put my call sign in because I have a call sign account. But you don't need a call sign. You can actually just use, use a name. So I'll put in here comms prepper and I'll hit continue and email address comms prepper at gmail.com now of course when you do this you're going to use your information and it's going to ask me for a question here 2 plus 3 is 5 okay and I'm going to click register and what this will do is send an email to my Gmail account that I have to go and click on to activate. And there we are. I got that right there. And I'm going to click on the link to activate it. Okay, it's asking for a password. So I'm going to put a password in here. And okay, hit submit. Now the comms prepper has an account on qrz.com. We'll go ahead and hit continue and we'll log in. And hit continue. And now we're logged in successfully to qrz.com. And this is where we start to get set up to practice getting your amateur radio license. Come over here to resources and you have practice amateur radio exams click there and the question pools are actually published publicly so the questions you'll get here on this practice exam are the exact same questions you're going to get when you go to take your test so we'll go ahead and we'll start here with the 2010 technician exam practice test so the questions are from 2010 but they're still valid and we click on that and now it's going to begin asking you the questions so Here's the actual questions, and you just keep taking this test over and over again. On test day, you're going to get 35 questions. That's showing up here. And this is pulling from a pool, the technician pool. And I don't know how many questions are in the pool. I think that tells me down here. There's three, here it is. There's 395 overall questions in the pool. So on test day, you're going to get 35 of that 395. And you just keep taking this test over and over again. And I think once you hit about 10, 15 times, you'll know the answers to these questions and you'll be ready to go take your test. So once you start passing this practice test here under resources and getting 85% right each time you take it, then it's time to go set up your test. So now you have to find out where to take your test. So we're going to go to another website. So when you're successfully passing the practice test, you want to come to this website, www dot a r r l dot org the american radio relay league and come to this tab here licensing education and training and we're going to find the tab here that allows us to find an exam and here we go find an exam session and we click on that and now we can search by location or city or keyword to see what exams are available in your area so i'm going to put here in a zip code uh, uh, Virginia zip code uh, 22153 and I'll come down here and hit search and we'll see what's available in this area and here's a list of all the exams that are coming up and exams are about 15 bucks you just show up with an ID and pay your 15 bucks and you take your exam it's amateur radio operators who volunteer to give the exams but in this example we have uh, January 18th January 18th, Maryland, 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 uh, Alexandria, Virginia, 
but these are available all over the country so you just have to put in your zip code where you live and find out what exam sessions are available and some require you call the call a number send an email most of them are just walk-ins so if you want to get an amateur radio license the first step is to go to qrz.com here create an account so you can access the resource tab and practice exams take that practice exam get comfortable with it until you start passing it and then go to the ARRL website find out where your testing location is and go take your test and you'll have your amateur radio license and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with what the steps are to get your amateur radio license